Hey guys, Asian Sleepy here, and welcome to a special video. I've had a lot of people ask me lately uh, how I keep track of my growing uh, video game collection, and I thought that was a great question for you guys to ask, and I'm very happy to answer it for you guys. Uh, I used to keep track of my collection uh, in my head, you know, I used to just try to remember every game I had for every console, but when you get a collection of over 2,000 games like I have for a uh, bunch of different consoles, it becomes nearly impossible to remember everything you have and you end up buying doubles or passing up on games uh, that you didn't have. So that's when I decided last year that I wanted to create my own custom video game collection book that I could uh, keep with me and take it out uh, game hunting. And so I went on to a few different websites like uh, video game price charts and a few of those uh, rarity guides and I compiled my list from there and I uh, typed them out in uh, custom uh, Microsoft Excel uh, spreadsheets and then I uh, printed those out and I placed them here in this nice uh, three ring binder and uh, to save on ink because you can see there's a lot of pages in it uh, I went to my local library and printed them all out for five cents a page which is not bad and then I took all the pages and placed them in these nice little uh, plastic page protectors which are not very expensive uh, I picked them up at Walmart it was like a they were in like packs of 50 for like two or three bucks so not very expensive so definitely very uh, cost effective and so uh, I decided you know, I wanted to print out my uh, game lists and then uh, keep it with me so I have them uh, labeled by console so like here's Atari 2600 and you can see I put them in uh, two columns here and I just have the name of the game and if I pick up the game, I make sure that I mark it off with highlighter. So that way, if I'm out and looking out uh, game hunting, and let's say I found Fireball for the Atari 2600, I can look and say, oh, I don't have it. So now I know I can pick it up. But let's say I found a game, the E.T. game, and I can see, oh, no, I already have it, so I don't need to pick it up. So I figured I'd share this with you guys, you know. Great way that I am uh, able to keep track of my uh, game collection on the go. Uh, there's also another method I have, which I'll share with you guys just in a few moments here. But I just wanted to show you guys a little bit more of my uh, book here. Um, also, if anyone's interested in uh, obtaining the files for these that I used, uh, feel free to send me a message with your uh, email address, and I'll gladly email you guys the files. If you guys want to print them out and uh, use them for your own book, or just want to have the list for yourself, uh, I'm more than happy to share it with you guys, so just let me know. But I got things like uh, Nintendo NES in here, you can see. This one, I just printed out the uh, rarity list that I'm sure a lot of people have seen before. And I just go along and mark off the games as I find them. So that's pretty cool. Um, now, I only keep uh, track of my game collections as far as Atari 2600 all the way up to the original Xbox. I don't keep track of the new stuff like uh, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, Nintendo Wii, Wii U, or anything like that because they're still releasing games for those systems and my lists would be outdated so that's why I don't uh, keep them track of them here I also though keep track of my uh, growing Star Trek book collection because I don't want to be buying doubles for those and it's really hard to know which ones I have so that's why I decided to print out my own lists of my different Star Trek books based on different series and different kind of Star Trek books so I keep track of those in this uh, collection book as well so I hope that uh, helped answer some of your guys' questions about how I keep track of my collection. Now there's also one more way that I keep track of my collection, and that is that I created my own custom web page thanks to a great website uh, called www.weebly.com. And I heard about this site thanks to uh, Sit Cooper because he created his own collection website, and I thought that was really cool, and I decided that, hey, I'd like to create one myself. So now I'll share that with you guys here. Let me just get you guys positioned so you can see. All right, there we go. Now you can see, uh, here's the address to my website if you want to visit it. It's uh, asiansleepy.weebly.com. There are no W's in it. And if you wanted to build your own website for free, you know, that's the best part of it. You don't have to pay a dime for it. Go to uh, www.weebly.com. And so here's what my web page looks like. I have a welcome page for you guys talking about why I have my page, a little bit of info about me. Also have a link to my YouTube page and a contact page for people to contact me. Got a nice little uh, page here for uh, the Nintendo 64 games I'm looking for. So if you guys are ever uh, 
interested in knowing what games I need for the 64, you can check out this website. I update it daily, and I currently need 68 games. I also have a page for uh, the different video games that I have uh, available for trade. So feel free to check this page. I also update this regularly. And I also, which is really cool, is you can put uh, as many pictures as you want on this website. So I decided I would start putting some uh, collection pictures on here for you guys. And so far I just have uh, pictures up of what my storage unit looks like. So if you watched uh, my old storage room tour video, you guys uh, know that I'm going to be doing an updated one here soon. But if you want to see what it looks like right now, you can uh, browse through the different pictures I took of it, which is uh, pretty cool. I've got uh, 50 pictures up right now, and I plan to add other pictures of other game collections and maybe some pictures of me out game hunting and stuff, so that's pretty neat. Another awesome thing about this uh, website uh, uh, is with Weebly is they also let you have, they create a free mobile version of your site so I can access my web page and check out any game collection I have. Like let's say I want to check out Xbox. So I click the Xbox tab and there's a list of every Xbox title I own in my collection and I can uh, access this on my phone through the internet which is very handy. You know I don't have to keep that uh, giant book with me uh, if I don't want to. I can just use my phone but I do like having a backup physical copy with me but it's come in real handy lately and I really am happy with uh, this web page so if you guys uh, are interested in creating your own website uh, please visit uh, www.weebly.com great website to build uh, your own custom pages uh, you can also put videos on these websites for free right from YouTube so that's really cool you can put music on here of course there are some features that you can only get if you uh, spend money for it, but the best part is you don't have to. So that's really awesome, and I really want to thank Sit Cooper for uh, letting me know about uh, Weebly. I mean, this thing is awesome. I'm so glad I was able to uh, create my own web page to keep track of my game collection. It's great, you know. Others can see how my collection is doing, and if you guys are ever wondering what game I have or if I got something, and you want to know that I need it for my collection, you know, you guys can just check out my website. So that's cool. I also keep track of uh, my video game magazine, strategy guides, and even uh, my Star Trek books, which is really nice. So, like, again, if I'm out looking for Star Trek books at the flea market or the Goodwills or any thrift store, wherever I'm at, I can see what Star Trek books I have and what I need. All right, guys, I hope that uh, answered your guys' uh, question about how I keep track of my uh, game collection. I uh, have my printed out uh, binder with my nice custom game list. Again, like I said, if you guys are interested in obtaining the files, please send me a message with your email address and I will gladly email you guys the files. I have no problem sharing with you guys. You guys are awesome. I really appreciate all the support you guys have been showing me. And I definitely would like to give back to the community. So I hope that it would uh, help some of you guys out. Also, if you want to create your own website, you know, feel free to... Uh, Visit that uh, Weebly website and create your own. If you do, let me know because I'd love to check it out. I think it'd be awesome. Again, one more time, I want to say thanks to Sit Cooper for uh, letting me know about the Weebly website. And uh, be sure you guys stop by uh, Sit Cooper's website. If you've never been there, I'll have a link to that. It's pretty cool. And if you've never been to his YouTube page, I'll also have a link to that, which is also cool. He makes a lot of great videos, and he's a real awesome member of our YouTube gaming community. So be sure you check him out. All right, guys. I want to thank you for watching, take care, have a good day, and sleepy, I'll see you next time.